My name is Payne Hines. I am the president and CEO and founder of an Almont-based company called Potential Difference Incorporated. <coughs> and uh, we are a clean tech uh, R&D company. And uh, our, our innovation is a an electric electric generator innovation that basically uh, allows electric vehicles to recharge themselves as they drive. And um, we uh, when we started our research, our uh, our initial research goal was to reduce the regenerative braking effect that's in electric vehicles by 10%. And uh, as, it, as it turns out, we were able to completely reverse the regenerative braking effect in an electric generator. If anybody, if anybody understands uh, what an electric vehicle is, an electric vehicle uses the generator and the stored inertia in the in the electric vehicle to recharge the batteries. Now, when the generator is delivering power to the batteries, the generator is creating a magnetic field that decelerates the vehicle. And uh, what our innovation has done, what well, what our research has has proven, is that we are now able to. Re reverse the polarity of the magnetic field that's, that the generator produces, and our generator can deliver power to the EV's batteries, but instead of decelerating the vehicle, our innovation can accelerate the vehicle. And, and our generator innovation is called regenerative acceleration generator technology. That exact flip side of regenerative braking, and uh, it, the generator innovation allows electric vehicles to recharge as they drive. Now, uh, the innovation uh, was validated at MIT in 2008. We spent uh, two and a half years at the University of Ottawa in the Power Lab uh, uh, developing and perfecting the generator innovation. And uh, Tom, can you do it there? Can you grab the that folder there and just pass it around? Just pass the folder, just the folder, yeah, just give it around. Anybody, the if anybody is interested, the the test data in this folder that's going around now was taken by an NRC scientist. And basically what it shows is that when our, gener when, the, when our generator delivers power to a load, a battery or a light bulb, our generator accelerates itself. And in essence, the generator innovation is, has a, basically it has an infinite, in, infinite efficiency. Now, if you if you if you looked at a, a conventional generator, let's say a generator that that you're cranking by hand, when you put a light bulb on that generator, the generator gets harder to turn. This is in the, this is a, a conventional generator. In our generator, when you put a light bulb on, it gets easier to turn. Wow. The more light bulbs you put on, the easier and easier and easier it gets to turn. It, 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 the easier and easier it is to turn the generator because the generator is creating a torque that is complementary to the original driving torque. So the generator innovation, because it because the generator innovation uh, has the ability to create its own torque and accelerate itself while delivering power. Uh, the efficiency is infinite. Now, this, this, in a, I'll, we're going to do questions in a second. So, this innovation 
lends itself to transformer technology and electric motor technology. Tom, can you pass out the second folder? Okay, the second folder is test data on the transformer innovation that we developed based on the regenerative acceleration uh, phenomenon or innovation. And uh, it was tested by five PhDs from uh, Defense Research and Development. And it was shown, uh, it was shown to produce power on the output of the transformer but consume zero watts in the primary and also operating with uh, infinite efficiency. So the, the generator on one hand accelerates itself, uh, requires zero increase in input when delivering power to a load. The transformer operates the same way and uh, we've taken the, the generator innovation one step further and we've created uh, we're in the process of creating a, an electric motor that uh, collects all of the input energy into a, a regenerative acceleration coil and the net, uh, the net consumption by the electric motor is zero watts. And that's the, that's the next innovation that, that our company is, is coming out with. And, uh, and that's about it. The, the, the generator innovation is currently being integrated into electric bike motors. Uh, initially, we're in talks now licensing the innovation to uh, Bionics slash Mag International. Uh, we have a worldwide exclusive licensing deal pending with uh, Germany's largest bike company and Hero Electric of India who are taking an exclusive for two-wheeled vehicles in Asia. And um, that's, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Questions? This is sounds a little bit like perpetual motion to the mind, but the, the Sorry. regenerative effect occurs while you're decelerating? No, the regenerative, the, the, it, the regenerative braking effect in a conventional EV as it stands right now is is created while it is created when the when the driver puts his foot on the brake. Our innovation can be um, can be started at uh, right now it's four kilometers an hour, and our innovation can begin to recharge the batteries while the EV is accelerating, coasting, and braking. So currently, currently we are currently we're able to recharge any EV batteries up to 75 percent, which basically would triple the uh, triple the range of any EV on the market. So if, for example, the the EV is consuming 100 watts or 1,000 watts, whatever we are able to return 75% of that energy back to the battery. So the net, the net consumption by the motor is uh, 25%. Uh, yeah. So where is the energy coming from? Is it zero point energy? Or no, no, the energy, the, the, the braking effect that's currently, that currently exists in a, in a conventional generator when it's, when it's creating the deceleration, okay? That's, a, that's produced by a magnetic field that's induced in the generator. So what we've done, a magnetic field has two polarities, north and south, for example. So all we've done is reverse the polarity from the north, let's say, let's call that decelerating, to a south, which is now accelerating. So instead, when our generator is delivering power to a battery, because the magnetic polarities are reversed, it's not resisting the rotation, it's, it's assisting the rotation. So the, the energy comes from the magnetic field that is normally produced, and 
The only thing we're doing is reversing the magnetic polarity. Where do you reverse the polarity? In the same in the same generator? Or do yeah. you reverse it? To, yeah, yeah. No, we have a we we have a we have a generator coil that uh, basically has the proven ability to uh, to reduce to reverse the 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 magnetic polarity in the coil, and so uh, so when our when our generator when our generator coil is delivering power to the battery, our generator coil is accelerating the system. When a conventional generator coil is uh, providing power to a battery, it's decelerating the system. And uh, Sylvain asked me to invite anybody who's interested for a demo, and and uh, I think it would be it would be better for most people if we kind of left all the technical questions so for that. Yeah. Go ahead, Sylvain. Yeah, I, I just have a quick question. Sure. With an innovation like this, it would seem to me that defense or aerospatial companies would be interested in this because they're often in situations where they're far away from the grid. Uh, have they approached you? Oh, the, uh, the, the, trans, the, trans, the DRDC file that went around, the transformer innovation was tested by Defense Research and Development Canada. So that's DRDC. The, the five PhDs that were at the, our lab at Ottawa U that tested the uh, the transformer were took the innovation to their superiors and asked them to pursue it, and uh, they were all terminated. Wow. Their jobs were they weren't terminated. They were, all their jobs were they all lost their jobs. They all lost their jobs. They all lost their jobs. Let's it's just, talk it's just about that. that. That's less. There you go. It's just fundamentally. This is no magic. What you've done is essentially increase the efficiency of the generator, in essence. Or yeah, is there something you're missing? You're just no, we're taking what we're taking what's already right. we're taking what's already there. It would be like uh, you're not it would, wasting. It would be like um, essentially for the motor, for example. Okay, the motor. If you looked at it in your gas-powered car analogy, if you could take the exhaust that's coming out of your exhaust pipe. And reconvert 100% of that back into gasoline and put it right back into your tank. That's well. That's what we're. That is what we're doing with the with the motor. Okay, and we're able to do that with the regenerative acceleration uh, motor because we're 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 able to capture the magnetic field that is produced in the motor. That that magnetic field drives the rotor that makes the motor go. So you're so recovering we're able energy. to capture that we're able well it's not lost sure, it would energy. normally be lost in a normal motor. We are able to capture hundred percent of that magnetic field and reconvert that magnetic field back into electrical energy and send it right back to the battery. Would it be analogous to a loudspeaker as a loudspeaker is driven by a current, it creates a current. And are you then capturing the fact that the secondary current that's created? By the generator. Yeah, we're using that in the in the in the transformer, for example. We're using we're using in the transformer. We have essentially two loudspeakers, one here, and one here. We're using we're using the magnetic field created by one loudspeaker to to drive the other one, and the other one drives the other one, and so the 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 primary that's in the middle that's that's producing the original power for both of those, it uh, it doesn't have to do any extra work when they're placed on a load because they supply each other.